Hi everyone and welcome to an Odinson Oatmeal Stout special of homebrew buffoonery tasting editions. Now I say this is special, uh, it's only because uh, I've got a couple of bottles left over all from different Odinson Oatmeal Stout brews and uh, I thought I'd give them all a taste. I'm at the end of my video session, about five beers all so far um, my head's feeling heavy, but never mind, we'll plug on. And what I've got is I've got three bottles of Odinson Stout. I've got uh, an Odinson 3, an Odinson 4, and an Odinson 5. And basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick them into these three glasses here. And I'm going to taste them because the first one, uh, my original Odinson, the Odinson 3, uh, was ready on the 10th of November 2018. Today is the 21st of March. So that means November, December, January, February, March. So it's four, nearly four and a half months old. So we'll, uh, we'll have to see what the difference of the aging process in the bottles makes. Because this is my last bottle of this. It's like a vintage, isn't it now? Uh, so this is Odinson 3, 3.6%. Um, this was done with the Gervin GV12 yeast. Now my friend I brewed it for, a magnificent gentleman I brewed it for, he loved this, it was great. He said it was great. Uh, the OG was 10.45 and the FG was only 10.16. So it's quite sweet. And we, uh, I used um, 0.4 of an ounce, which is 10 grams of Challenger hops at 30 minutes in the boil. And that's what I do with all of them, is it? No, they're all different. Um, so that's my oldest one. Um, so let's go to my second oldest one. This one is Odinson 4 and this was ready at the end of January so it's only two months old. Uh, we used USO 5 with this one because I wasn't happy with the attenuation out of that GV12. Um, we got ended up getting 3.9% rather than 3.6 with OG of 1048, FG of 1018 which is similar and for this one at 45 minutes in the boil I used 10 grams of Challenger. And then for my last one, which is the newest, latest version, this, because uh, it's because it's a Kvake uh, fermentation using that Norwegian yeast, uh, it fermented out in, you know, four days and then put it into bottles and it's been in a bottle since the 9th of March. So that's two weeks-ish it's been in there. And this started at 10.51 OG, FG of 10.18, it gave me 4.3%. So the percentage of uh, alcohol is going up for each of those last three batches. And for this one, we used 10 grams of Challenger at 60 minutes in the boil. Um, and now what I tried to do was um, have a taste of some other kind of stout, really. And I got, <laughs> I was at this Cayley over the weekend. Oh, it was carnage. And uh, um, I drank some, uh, it was a Guinness, a Guinness Porter. Oh, what was it called? I can't remember what it was called, but you know, it was it was absolutely yummy. It was 6%. Um, and I suspect these, whilst I say the stouts, might be a bit more portery-ish, because I tried some Guinness, and the difference between the porter and the Guinness was that the porter had tons, tons more flavour. The Guinness was a bit sort of bland, really, which was a bit odd. Uh, but anyway, let's have a quick whack through the... Um, BJCP guidelines, which is 16B, and it says a very dark, full-bodied, roasty malty ale with com complementary oatmeal flavour. They all got some oatmeal in it. You can check out the videos for those. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description, maybe if my drunkenness allows me. Um, the sweetness, balance of and oatmeal impression can vary considerably. Uh, mild roasted grain aromas, generally with a coffee-like character. Now I know for a fact that. Odinson 3 has a coffee character because if you watch my very first tasting video that's what I'm tasting and I'm like that. oh my lord what's happening um, and that was lovely. Uh, medium brown to black in colour, flavour is similar to the aroma with a mild roasted coffee and cream kind of flavour, maybe some chocolate, maybe some treacle, maybe a little bit of sort of licorice kind of flavour which I actually really like even though it might not be specifically in style. Medium full to full body mouth feel, uh, smooth and silky velvety, sort of leaves a bit slick in your mouth because of the oatmeal. Uh, and it says there, almost oily slickness from the oatmeal, creamy, medium to medium high carbonation. 
So let's have a go with number one first. I will say that all these glasses uh, are hazy, aren't they? So you can't see how clear it is, but I'll look in and then I'll show you. So this one is the vintage four and a half month old one. Oh, 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 coffee and cream, definitely there. But I'm, this is my last bottle of it. Um, so I, I really like this one. And it, it is nice and clean. And it's a nice head on it. There we go, half a glass. That'll do. You can see there, nice head on it. It's quite, quite uh, moussey, quite dense. Smells of coffee and cream, just really nice. It smells like a sort of a, uh, a coffee cake, which is really, really tasty. Um, it's nice and clean, like I said, I could see through it when I was pouring it. You won't be able to see it out here, but taste wise, it's that super stouty kind of flavour to it. And then the, the more you leave it in the mouth, the more the coffee comes through. And it's it's not like one of those Nespresso, we have, we have Nespresso coffee and it's really smooth and really nice. It's more like an instant kind of coffee, really. Uh, but it's nice and um, it's uh, a good quality instant coffee and there's some creaminess behind it. And then it sort of develops into this sort of licorice kind of flavour, and which I really, really like. I really like the licorice flavour. And this one just has uh, pale chocolate malt and a little bit of crystal 250. Um, yeah, that coffee flavour really does come through rather strongly. It's good stuff. It is good stuff. God, I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah. Now, well, that's nice, that one. I like that. That's the first one. We'll bobber there. And we'll go straight into number two, USO 5 one. Now, did I drink any of this? <coughs> I think this, I've got another, one more bottle of this. I gave this to my friend who I brew it for. It's named after him. That's my nickname for him. Um, Odinson, the magnificent gentleman. And uh, he really likes it. You know, it's the same, more or less the same recipe other than the hops went in a bit of different time and um, the yeast was different. That was the only difference. And that's a bit more fizzy. Let's have a see. Uh, again, it's lovely and clean. I don't know if you can see there in the video. That's quite well carbonated as well. <laughs> so let's pop it back there. That's 3.9%. And that is, whoa, that is completely different. That's more chocolatey, uh, more coffee flavoured. And that is more sweet. And chocolatey yeah colors okay heads it's a bit over carbonated maybe but you know it's a nice dense head um, the bubbles aren't uh, big bubbles they're small bubbles so it's carbonated reasonably well uh, but that's got a really nice chocolate smell to it rather than that one which that one the first one which has a coffee smell to it Stout again, not nearly as stouty as the first one. A bit cleaner, a bit fresher, a little bit more carbonation, sort of adding to the sort of feel of it. Quite refreshing, really. You wouldn't say a stout was refreshing, would you? Yeah. Um, chocolate flavour comes through, it's coming through now. Coffee flavour nowhere near as pronounced, but it's still there. This original one has more of that coffee cream kind of flavour to it. Um, this one is far more chocolatey and far lighter. Much, much lighter. And that must be through the yeast because, you know, the hop additions more or less the same, aren't they? 15 minutes need rain in there. But the yeast is quite different. That chocolate flavour. It goes from a nice rounded chocolate flavour to a quite bitter chocolate flavour at the end. And it's not unpleasant at all. But it's, it's a lot lighter. The carbonation is so much higher on it that it's a lot lighter than the first one. And then we come to number three, and this is the Kvake one. 
Um, this one came out at 4.3%. Um, and I can see that this quake, you know, it makes the beers nice and clear, you know. Doesn't quite carbonate them as well as they should. See, it's only a little hiss there. This is the thing with this quake. I'm not sure it carbonates brilliantly. Maybe I need more sugar afterwards. Um, let's give it a bit of a, a gurgle. Get some, get some bubbles into it. You see the, the carbonation on this. Is far less and this is my first one of these although more coffee flavored more like the first one but a nicer coffee flavor oh I'm liking that that's that first one is more like a good quality instant coffee this is getting into your, your Nespresso sort of range your, your barista kind of coffee it's much more rounded because I, I like my coffee um, I like good coffee though, uh, I'm going off the old instant, I'm starting to drink more tea, but this reminds me of uh, the, the Nespresso kind of coffees that I that we like to drink here. Whoa, that is completely different in mouthfeel to both of those, a much fuller, much more body to it, it's not heavy. It's got that licorice flavour coming through. It's much, much nicer. Um, I'm just a bit peed off with the old um, carbonation on it. It's a bit quite bitter. It's quite, quite a bitter sort of chocolate flavour as well. Quite quickly going on there. Chocolate on the nose. Coffee on the nose with a bit of cream in it. Yeah. Fuller body. Carbonation flavour is not coming through, so you're getting that stoutiness, and then as the as you sort of clean your mouth, whatever lingers becomes a, a little stronger in flavour. So the coffee flavour develops, the chocolate flavour develops, and uh, I'm not sure which I like best actually. That was complete. That first one is completely different to the second one, which is the second one. Odinson Four smells much more of chocolate much lighter more carbonation flavor no that one's the worst of the three it's not bad but it's the worst of the three there's too much car the carbonation flavors the thing that I can't sort of fixate on it's weird this is the original coffee cream coffee and cream not quite as much carbonation flavor but it's a completely different flavour to the other one. And this is the great one, which is a really nice coffee aroma to it, a really rounded coffee flavour uh, aroma to it. It's really nice, that. It doesn't taste anywhere near as stouty, though. I mean, none of them taste like the porter that I tried over the weekend. None of them taste like the, the tons more flavour. They're all quite flavourful. And they, but they all have tons more flavour than any Guinness that I've tried. Now Guinness is heavy with a thick head, but there is very little flavour to it. I think I'm going to wear it on the side of the Quake Odinson 5 here. It's still quite young. I've still got a ton of bottles of it left. I'm not sure my mate would like it. I don't know whether he'd like it or not. He likes to drink anything, I suppose. I think I'll go for the third one. I think the most recent one, the Kveik one's got a, a bit more uh, body, a bit more flavour, a uh, little bit, excuse me, a little bit less carbonation. Um, I mean, there's some bubbles holding on to the end there. But, yeah, I'll go most recent, preferable, then oldest, so Odinson 5, Odinson 3, and then Odinson 4. So I think the next Odinson that I bring, because I'm onto a double pot special now, so I can do two demijohns, and I'm going to use Quake for one fermentation, and then a standard sort of yeast for another. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a little bit around the old uh, stout yeasts. USO 5 seems to be the one to go for. And uh, I'm going to do a batch of both, and then we'll compare side by side. Um, 
and we'll see what we get. And they're all tasty, but all very different. But that Craig one, much more rounded, much nicer flavour. And, uh, you know, quite frankly, I'm glad these videos are over because that's what I'm doing. Six videos. I've been spieling and waffling for a good hour. Um, and I've been drinking solidly for a good hour. And I'm lucky I'm keeping my words together, to tell you the truth. But uh, there's the old Craig Odinson, Odinson 5, the most recent one, my favourite one. Yeah, have a look back on the old brew day, which you can see up here, that, that episode there. And then uh, you can like, and you can subscribe, and you can uh, have a look at all the other videos that I've got on the old channel. And if you want to leave a comment, you, you're more than welcome to, good or bad. Um, I've not had any bad ones yet, but you know, even if you send me a bad one, I ain't going to respond negatively to it. I'm going to respond positively to it because that's the kind of guy I am. And it's beer, isn't it? You know, it's not world politics or anything stupid like that. So, um, yeah, like, subscribe, comment, all that nonsense. And uh, why don't you go out and these Odinsons get one brood? <laughs>